Top 7 Quotes by Jackie Huggins Jacqueline Gail Huggins was born in Ayr, Queensland, on the 19th of August 1956, the daughter of Jack and Rita Huggins. She is of the Biara, Piara, Central Queensland, and Biri, Brigabajuru, North Queensland, Peoples. Her family moved to Inala in Brisbane when she was young, and she attended Inala State High School. Subscribed by my YouTube channel, Golden Words, 1. We must respect each other's right to choose a collective destiny, and the opportunity to develop the legal and political rights for Indigenous and non-Indigenous peoples so that we may enjoy the right to maintain our culture, our heritage and our land, as a united Australia. 2. Citizenship has not delivered Indigenous Australians the same quality of life other Australians expect. Basic human rights involve health, housing, education, employment, economic opportunity, and equality before the law, and respect for cultural identity and cultural diversity. These human rights must be capable of being enjoyed otherwise they are empty gestures. 3. The true essence of reconciliation is more than making friends with non-indigenous people. Our motto is United Australia, one that respects the land and the heritage of its indigenous peoples and provides justice and equity for all. I think reconciliation is about changing the structures that govern us and trying to influence opinion leaders in whatever way we can. 4. It's a very Aboriginal thing to do, to give younger people greater responsibilities within the community as they become able to take those responsibilities on. It is a culturally appropriate transfer of roles that involves respect in both directions from the younger to the older and the older to the younger. 5.4 Indigenous Australians, equal rights and citizenship have not always translated into full participation in Australian society. All Indigenous Australians have only been counted in the census since the 1967 referendum. Even so, State protection and welfare laws continued to control the lives of Indigenous Australians and denied them equal rights well into the 1970s. Six dot to my mind, you cannot speak about the need for leadership within our communities without being prepared to take on responsibility yourself. It's not enough to point the finger at those who have let us down and to expect others to come forward and fix our problems. Nor can anyone afford to call themselves a leader unless they truly have the interests of our community at heart. Too many people like to think they are leaders and too many are identified by the media as leaders who are not really leaders at all. 7. We have reached a pivotal time in Indigenous affairs when for the first time, National attention is being paid to the horror of Indigenous family violence in this country. For the first time, an Australian Prime Minister has held a summit in the national capital to listen to concerns and ideas on this issue from a group of Indigenous leaders. 